welcome to part two of this series where I'll be trading some CS2 skins on the CSGO Empire marketplace and trying to get profit by flipping them. In this episode, I'm selling my paracord knife and then I'll be trying to get some more good deals and buy some items for lower than buff price. If you missed the first part of this series, you can go watch that. I'll have the link for the video in the description of this one so you can go check it out. But once again, just so we're on the same page, you should know that each coin on this side is worth 0.614 US dollars and there's 0% taxes on the marketplace so all of the trades that I'm making are not taxed and this is how I'm able to get profit by making them. So first of all, I was gonna sell my glove cases and my paragraph knife but for some reason that side wasn't taking the glove cases. I'm not exactly sure why but I might be able to sell them in the next episode. I don't know. We'll see but I actually went ahead and tried to sell my paragraph knife by listing it as an auction. I thought this way I could maybe get people to drive it to a crazy price just by providing this competition but I actually learned a pretty important lesson by doing this because next time I'll be trying to sell my items by listing them at a price that I want to sell them at and I'll pass on using the auction feature for this purpose at least because yes I did get some profit by selling this paracord knife at the end of the day but I think I could have got some more just by listing it at a higher price point. I really think there would have been some people out there that would have gotten it for higher than buff price and I'll explain why that is later when I actually show you what my strategy is at the end of this episode. So anyways I sold my paracord knife got some profit for it pretty cool then I went ahead and looked for some deals try to get some good deals i was looking at some knives items that actually look good and people would want to rock in game so you can see over here i looked at this gut knife look at some other knives gloves and stuff i couldn't find good deals this day it was pretty unfortunate but everything was getting sniped and all of the mediocre deals were the ones staying up so this is what you should expect to see if you start using this method to flip CS2 skins, you might have some crazy days like I did in the first episode and then the first video that I actually made on CSGO Empire trading. But some other days are gonna be off days. You're not gonna have the best deals just present themselves to you immediately once you open the site. It's just not gonna happen every time. It is what it is. So I kept looking and looking. As you can see, I was just doing the conversion from the coins on the site to US dollars and then checking the buff price on every single item. And the tag, the green tag that indicates that an item is listed for lower than recommended was letting me down this time on this side because last time it was pretty accurate but this time it was telling me that these items are below buff price and they were actually not that much lower. But I don't think CSGO Empire is to blame when it comes to this because the items all across the board in the CS2 market are just going down at the moment. So the prices are changing all the time and they're just continuously going down. So I kept looking and looking and I actually found these Emerald Hydro Gloves and I decided to get them for just a couple bucks profit as things stand currently if we compare the price that I got them for to the buff price and it's actually the same situation over here with these Desert Eagle print streams. I wasn't able to get too much profit for them on paper if we just look at the full buff price but my strategy when it comes to these is pretty clear I believe so CSGO Empire also has a betting section where you can go bet money gamble that sort of stuff so there's a lot of people who use the marketplace who also go on the site to gamble and people who are looking to withdraw their winnings will probably go for good looking skins that they want to use in game and play with so they can look fresh and so those people who aren't looking to trade for profit won't mind paying just a little bit over buff price if they see that they can get your item that looks fresh as hell for the exact amount that they got from their winnings or whatever. So I went and got myself some items that I believe people would want to get after they've won some money from betting. And on paper, the profit that I should get from these if I sell them for 100% buff price 
it's just a couple bucks on each item so that's not too crazy but my intention is to go sell them for way more than both price so we're gonna see how that goes next week once my items become tradable i'll also be trying to sell my glove cases i hope that works next time because i did get them for some good profit last time and it would be a shame if I couldn't sell them at all at the end of the day. But once again, you can go check out the site and start flipping skins yourself with the link in the description. I do believe this is the best site out there to use if you want to flip CS2 skins because the trading is peer to peer. There's no bots involved, 0% taxes, and then you can go withdraw your money once you've sold items directly from the site by using the coins and get your money from crypto and then get them into your bank account or whatever. It's pretty cool and I definitely recommend it. Anyways, thanks for watching once again and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.